Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class. In today's class, we will start our fourth unit, deadlocks and file system. First, let us discuss the deadlocks. In today's class, we will see the resources, that is computer system resources, because it is important to understand the resources, then only uh, we can understand how the deadlocks will occur. In this deadlock uh, topic, uh, we are going to see the resources, conditions for resource deadlocks, R-stitch algorithm, deadlock detection and recovery, deadlock avoidance and deadlock prevention. And definitely you can expect one 10 more questions from deadlock. What is deadlock? For executing any process, it requires resources. Okay, for example, this is process. For executing any process, a resource should be assigned to this process. Then only the process will be executed. Okay, if resource is not currently available, okay, if this resource is not currently available, then this particular process will enter into waiting state. That is wait state. Okay. Sometimes the resource it has requested are held by other waiting process. Okay. This particular uh, resource is held by some other waiting process. Some other waiting process X. Hence, the current process never change its state. That is this waiting state. Okay. It should always wait for this particular resource. Hence, this is called as deadlock. In this diagram, here we are having two processes. Process 1 and process 2. For executing process 1, it requires two resources. Resource 1 and resource 2. Simultaneously, the process 2 also requires the same resources. Here, the resource 1 is assigned to process 1. And resource 2 is assigned to process 2. Okay. Now, the process 1 is waiting for resource 2. But the resource 2 is already assigned to process 2. Isn't it? And uh, in come to process 2 also. The process 2 is assigned. Sorry. The resource 2 is assigned to process 2. But the process 2 is waiting for resource 1. But the resource 1 is already assigned to process 1. Okay. So, this is hold and wait state. This is called as deadlock. Okay. That means the process is waiting for resource. This particular resource is already assigned to some other waiting process. This is waiting process. Hence, this particular process never change its waiting state. Okay. So, this situation is called as deadlock. Computer system resources uh, that will come under system model. Okay, the system consists of a finite number of resources, and these resources to be distributed among the number of computing processes. Okay, if it is computing process, this process wanted to execute means it requires some resources. Uh, resources. Okay, the resource may be partitioned into several types. We are having several types of resources and each resource consisting a number of identical instances. Okay, for example, printer means it is having uh, five printers. If it is printer, then the printer is having five printer. If it is CPU, sometimes uh, two CPUs may be there. Okay, so this is identical instances and the CPU cycles, files, I.O. devices, I.O. devices means uh, printers, DVDs and scanners and these are all examples of resource type and here uh, this is the uh, example for resource here we are having disk mouse keyboard printer monitor scanners and these are all io devices and disk controllers cpu and uh, graphical devices and network bus okay everything are uh, that will come under only the system resources and now let us see the resource instances. Suppose if the system has two CPUs, then the resource type CPU has two instances. If it is printer, and sometimes the printer may have five instances. Okay. Now that means if the process requests to printer, then we can allocate any one of the printer resource to this particular process. Right. Okay. If the process requests an instance of resource type, the allocation of instance of the type 
should satisfy this request right that means the, the, if the process request this printer resource then the printer should satisfy this particular process for its execution right if does not then the instance are not identical and the resource type class okay the resource type class have not defined properly for example if this particular process wanted to print some images and the resource type is dot matrix printer dot matrix printer okay now what will happen this particular process does not satisfy with this printer isn't it okay that means the definition of property that is defined property is not satisfied for this resources to this printer right this is what happening okay so what the process is expected the corresponding resource should be allocated to this particular process then only the process can execute successfully next let us see how the process utilizes the resources okay it follows some sequence first the process should give request to the resources okay this is the process the process have to give request for this particular resource right okay if the request cannot be guaranteed immediately that is the process may be busy then the requesting process must wait then this process must wait until this resource will be free okay when it is free immediately this resource will be allocated to this particular process next use this um, resources by this process that is the process can operate on the resources once the resource is allocated to this process then the process can operate on the resources for example if the resource is printer then the printing will be taken place by this process right and third one after utilizing those resources the process should release this particular resource okay once the operation got completed then immediately this process should release this particular resources so this is the sequence first the process should request the resources once the resource alloc allocated to that process immediately that should use the process that is operations will be performed and third one after utilizing the resources the process should release that particular resource then only this resource will be allocated to some other process up to this we have seen the resources in the computer system that will come under fourth unit deadlock so in this class we have seen the deadlock definition system resources and the sequence of resource utilization and in the next class we will see the deadlock characterization necessary conditions of deadlock in the system and the resource allocation graph okay these things we will see in the next class thank you